Hey guys, it's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. On Sunday, February 4th, you're looking at the last of the snow. On the north facing front yard, little geothermal greenhouse update. I put some, uh, I had some leftover repurposed roofing, so I made a Wayne's coating here. This is going to be outside of the sawmill. So that'll help when thing, trucks and things are pulling in here to keep the banging here and it'll just go siding straight up. This sidewall is still open so I can get soil in and out. I've been doing it all by hand. Uh, but there'll be a doorway here, just like there is on the other side. And the floors are in, a lot of the floors are in. This is a 42 gallon growing uh, container. These containers go all the way to the ground. This one's four feet, three feet deep. That one's two feet deep for trees and shrubs. And this is where the geothermal system is running right, right now. Which is almost silent. And I'll show you what it entails. So this particular unit is a chimney here harvesting the hot air up in the peak here, which will be insulated. And it brings it down into the ground and then it goes at a depth of four feet under the front bed. And then it comes back under this bed and then under this water feature, under the walkway and out on this bed. So there's only one unheated bed in here, but it's between two heated beds. And I'll show you how we installed the, uh, I showed you the tubing in the past, but I'll show you how we installed the fan. This particular fan is simply running direct feed on a 25 watt, uh, panel so when the sun gets up high enough it starts to pump hot air from the peak and by that point it's warm enough in the greenhouse to actually be heating the ground so everything is sealed in here real tight to keep the thermal energy underground and to try to trap it so that's why i made this tight section half the greenhouse is in this cut stone and we're doing the other half you see leah right there is doing the uh river jack floor and I did some river jack steps on the other side which we're going to look at in a second that's what these are these are free material that we have so this front bed is going to be lined these are all lined with a vapor barrier and uh, weed retardant it's pretty expensive but I got the good stuff so I didn't have to do a double lining and all the wood has been treated and you can see I watered this morning and the water is still beating there so it's been treated several times so we're really not worried about it deteriorating in the next several decades, but we'll see. Still needs to be insulated and shut down, shut up on this side, and the front bed needs to be filled. Now I'm going to come over here and show you the solar setup, and Leah's going to grab the camera. So we basically have a, uh, this is a repurposed uh, old computer fan for like an old, lap, uh, not a laptop, uh, a tower that you'd have in your house. But these are replacement fans you can buy in bulk on eBay. And I'll leave you links to the model number. This is 1512, which will get you there, but you need the full model number. This is a DC 12 volt fan. This is made in China, and the one I have running is one of these, and then we're going to see how long they last. They should last for years of continuous use, and then you can just stockpile them because in bulk, they're about $2 each. And you want to get the right size. This is a 4-inch fan. You can get little ones that won't work. This is a, the right size. It's a 4-inch fan. It's about 1 inch wide, and it's a half an amp, so it has a really good output. Now, the, the key is to find a way to mount it. Now, if you use science and diameter, what you can do is just purpose the perfect size pot that has the exact diameter of the fan and cut it down so that it fits perfectly in the fan and there's no drag. And that's just through trial and error. And I have this 100-watt uh, uh, panel here. But you can just see what kind of uh, torque we're getting out of here. And this is a plenty of wind to draw the... 
uh, entire, to create a negative vacuum in that geothermal tube that's inside there. Uh, and then your system is running. It's just running on the sun. So that's as simple as that is. And I'll just show you how we're going to install it. Some people spend a lot of time making a special box for this, but I think this is the way to go because it's real quick and easy. And then take a notice of the river jack steps here. So this is the same setup as the other side. This is another outlet vent. And after about a 80 foot of geothermal tube, which starts right behind Leah there up in the roof on the other side of the greenhouse, it runs under here and back under the water feature and then out here. Uh, we'll have, so we have air conditioning in the greenhouse on both sides, which is gonna cool this greenhouse in the summer and heat it in the winter. It's a really good system. So, and it does that by trapping the moisture deep in the earth and slowly releasing it. So this is all we do. We just slide this on here and I'm gonna wire it up to a switch and then I'll duct tape this, make sure there's cl good clearance everywhere. The key is to keep this thing from being hit because it's very delicate. And the way you do that is you just get a really heavy uh, two gallon perennial pot, one of the super duty ones that costs about five bucks. You drill some holes in it and you keep the original venting. And then after this whole system is complete, you can slide this down here and backfill up to it, which is going to protect the whole unit and give you water protection, dirt protection from the, the DC fan. Uh, and then you can plus tell people to be safe and not to be throwing dirt in here. <laughs> so that's what we're going to use. And we're going to be monitoring to see how well it works and how long these last. But these brushless fans, the DC brushless fans, have been running in the geothermal greenhouse in town for over a year. And they've been running in people's grow domes for three to five years continuously. Uh, and it's clearly the solution that uh, they've come up with here for geotubes. So thanks for uh, watching the video. Check out the bench we put in and some of the finish work. I installed some plumbing on what will be the main tank for a hydroponic system that I'm going to have hanging off of the roof in here. So there'll be a PVC spiral of plants. And I don't know what's going in here yet, but this, this is plumbed out here so that we can harvest the gook from the bottom. And we haven't figured it out yet, but uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share this with like-minded people. Be safe.